Elder Milton Rayford, I'm the headmaster of Imani Christian Academy. Imani started uh, back in 1993. It was an answer to a very serious gang violence problem that occurred in the city in that year. The reason why these young men were out there in the streets acting this way uh, was the fault of the church by not being uh, shepherds over the flock. But these kids that were out there selling, selling drugs could actually be um, profitable entrepreneurs that they didn't have any sense of value. And if they are to have any sense of value, we have to first confess as men, grown African-American men, that it's our obligation to parent these kids. It's our fault that these kids are in the streets. In my 10th grade year, I got in trouble with the law. Uh, I was caught with a gun driving on the south side. I got sent to Shuma for like three months. Pretty much I just had an infatuation with guns. I had semi problems in the streets, but I don't think it was so necessary that I had to carry a pistol, but I just liked the guns. Being in jail, it made me realize some different things that were going on. You don't want to be locked up. You don't want to be behind anyone's bars, locked behind anyone's door. So being in jail, it actually touched me to a point where it was like, I never want to be here again. So a lot of it was a change that I basically had to do within myself, but Imani has helped me to manifest what I actually need to do and point out certain points that I can't see in myself that they can see. Uh, I was having problems in Woodland Hills High School, fighting, grades, wise, every, everything was wrong. I just felt like nobody didn't care, so I didn't care. When I first got to this school, I was in school, I was a different person. Like, I'll be acting like I was all cool, and outside of school, I'll still be doing my own thing. Like, I would have two personalities type thing going on. And I was out selling drugs, just doing anything, we was just doing whatever. Because my first year here, I thought this was just a big lie. I was just coming here because I didn't have no other school to go to. And then I really started getting the feel of it and the seeing that it was real. Well, the school I've been to, we just, when we were just taught math and English and all the subjects and stuff like that, we was taught. And here, we, we get a class actually on life skills, like, and not life skills that you would think of in Willow Hills High School. I'm talking life skills coming from a street point of view. Like, we have teachers here who walk the same path as me. Teachers that I know, teachers that came from two blocks away from where I'm from. So I know if they made it, I could make it. You get, you get taught. Basically, they just help you through life here. Throughout my school years, elementary to high school, I used to think I wasn't smart because people kept picking with me. There wasn't anyone to tell me I can do it. I was called names. People really was trying to put me down. This was before I knew God and that my ancestors were kings and queens of Africa. Public school, the teachers have this theory that if, you, if these kids don't learn, don't worry, it's not your fault. They're poor children, they're black children, they're, they're criminals, their daddy was a drug addict, their mama was an alcoholic, so they can't be anything other than that. We are here to dispel those myths, and that's exactly what they are. Uh, have you ever been homeless? Um, me, personally, no. Um, sadly, my mother has, that's, uh, that's one reason this school year was especially difficult because she's been going through kind of transition between homes. The teachers here honestly seem concerned with what I have to say and what I think. I've actually had, I actually go to teachers for advice on things that have nothing to do with school. Like what? Like uh, personal life, how to, how to deal with not being with my mother, which most people would say, would, you know, consider that kind of weird, but I lived with her all my life, and I suppose I'm a mama's boy. And I tried, I tried to just be strong for her and for everybody around me, and it just, after a while, it just hit me that I really intentfully miss her. And that's something I've never experienced before. When, 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 they, when they leave me money, they are the head and not the tail. When they leave me money, they are world changers. When they leave me money, they can fall, but they'll get back up again. When they leave me money, 
they're overcomers. When they leave Imani, they're achievers. When they leave Imani, they produce. When they leave Imani, they're joyful. When they leave Imani, they got peace. When they leave Imani, they got power. When they leave Imani, they're confident. When they leave Imani, you know, they're, they're, they're restored, whole, healed.